hello hello this is going to be a very quick video because um i've already filmed it and i've made everything and um i didn't press record i'm really sorry uh, uh it's just how it works out isn't it anyway after last friday's video using the photo slides um, I had several messages and um, several people mentioned that they found it difficult or haven't been able to find any original slides. And one person suggested um, possibly creating some and or scanning mine, actually, which I had a look into. Unfortunately, Kodak, along with other photography studios, manufacturers of slides, um, they are actually trademarked. So scanning them is a bit of a no-go for me, but I thought I would make some photo slides, photo with an F, um, some faux photo slides, and, and create my own and create kits from that. So I actually created two kits. One is in reds and whites, and that kit is toadstool-based. And then I created another one in browns and grungy, um, vintage looking, and that is people based. So there are several pages of slides in each kit because this is two kits. So in each one, you will get plain photo slides like this, only larger. OK, so there are plain photo slides. Then there are fake fake faux stamped photo slides like these then there are photo slides that have a base if you don't want to fussy cut your slide and then there are completed kit um, slides such as these where you've got the background and you've got the image on it and you have to do nothing but glue those together and then they are also available in little, little ones in various stages of being kind of complete. Now, um, there are 15 pages in each kit, um, several slides and then several pieces of ephemera. So I'm just going to quickly explain some of what's in there. In each kit, there is a page that can be printed onto transparency and they are the people and the toadstools both have that they also have a page of ephemera as such so the people one have these kind of double folded people so you can fold them over and I'll show you how I use those in a minute and the toadstools are available in several sizes and they are mirrored so you only the large ones and that's the same with the people the large ones have a back so you can double side them and then there are smaller people but they are only single sided and there are also single mushrooms single sided and there are also little tiny pre-made clusters if you can see that and it's the same for the people and there are plain ones as well as completed clusters so that's one of the people and all of these things can be used in various ways to put your slides together and we made some slides in the video that didn't record so I'm going to show you some of what we made let me move these because those are some of what we made and those we're going to get these out of the way so I started off by simply gluing some of the kind of ready-mades just red just gluing them together really and inking and that's it they're kind of good to go this one is a partially finished slide but i've added a little bit of cheesecloth and one of the toadstools so there was that these are two of the slides with the people that are complete no fussy cutting required this is this is actually a bit of a mix and match because I've used the background from the people and I've added a toadstool to that with a little piece of cheesecloth. So I did that. Do, do, do. This one, these, let me show you. 
what I did with these is I glued the slides together and then I wrapped round one of the people. So it looks like they are on the outside, um, but they're actually wrapped round. And I quite like this hole. You could put some transparency in there if you wanted, um, but I actually quite like them like this. And I did something else with those, which I'll show you shortly. Um, I did the same with the toadstools. I'll tell you about the size of these shortly as well. Um, these ones, I did the toadstools, but I added, so I've glued, glued those back to back and I've added a little tiny tab on these ones. So that's those. Um, this one I wasn't particularly happy with. Um, I put it on one side and afterwards I thought it would probably be better to put those on both sides. So I'd have one one side and the other side the second piece. So it would be um, on the reverse rather than have the two one peer through the hole um, so that one I wasn't particularly happy with and then I only did some of the people but I used the transparency to create the people sides so I did that one and that one And then this one, which was a little bit more intricate because it's one of the faux stamped pieces. And we have these two as well. So I really love these. I really do. And then with one of the tiny pieces, with one of the tiny pieces, what I did was... I used one of the tag fabrication tags, one of the little minis, and used half a slide, added one of the small heads, and I've just glued and sewn that round three edges. And then using one of the little pieces, I've backed it onto some craft card and the tag was backed. Um, and I've just popped that in there so you can see her through that little window. And I've just used a tiny tag to just have something to pull her in and out with. So that is that is what I did. And I'm really sorry that didn't film. Story of my life. But this was the little selection to give you a few ideas of how these two kits could be put together. And I hope it's useful for those of you that couldn't find any of the tags. But there are they are um there are so many if you um you don't have obviously have to print and cut them all. But let me just talk a little bit about the size. So if you are printing and cutting by hand, your slides will be this size. This is 97% print. If you use the um, Cricut to print and cut, you know that they are going to be smaller by about that much. Okay, so that's the size using the Cricut. Now this size, will be then the same size pretty much as an original slide. So these are not super tiny, they are the same size as a normal slide if you print and cut on the Cricut, which means these ones are actually a lot bigger than your average slide. But I like them, I like them both. Um, I think these are perfectly acceptable if you're cutting by hand, having them slightly larger. But if you are able to use a scanning cut or a cameo or whatever your preference is, you know, or even cutting them by hand, you can also reduce the size of your print. If you don't want them this large, just make them smaller. But do remember, there are obviously smaller options already available to you in the kit. So there we go. Um, that's my disaster for the day and I'm now going to try and and clean up some of the mess that I've managed to make this morning and over the last couple of days so thank you so much oh this is some of the there we go um thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I'm really sorry this was not a make video but um I will honestly be back next week with some makes see you soon bye